Vagran, I'm the blacksmith and armorer here at Epic Armoring. And today I'm the Manning King and my name is Renee. Yes. So we just went down to the warehouse uh, and got a warrior breastplate and a warrior back backplate. And what we're going to show you today is how to, you know, uh, fit them to yourself to get them to, you know, fit more nicely. Um, so we've been asked, yeah, we've been uh, asked by, uh, by you guys, how do we fit a breast uh, plate and a back plate? Um, so it kind of fits nicely to your shape. Yeah, and that's what we're going to show you. So, nice First of all, you have to be aware that you have to measure out your measurements yeah. and look at the size table online. Yeah. And find the armor piece that suits you best. Yes. According to your size. And also be aware that you have to decide whether you want to wear a gambeson like I'm wearing, or you want to wear it on top of something else. Yeah. Because that has to be taken into consideration as well, because more clothing makes you bigger. So if you are to use the armor with a gambeson, yeah. it would be better to maybe go one put, size up. Yes. Or put on your gamson and yeah. then measure your yeah. measurements. Yeah, something like that too. Okay, so what right. do we do, Fabian? Well, right now, straight off the box, they might not fit you perfectly. We can like try and put up the breastplate and yeah. see how it fits you. Right now, it's a little tall in your neck. Like, if you were to bend down, you'd choke yourself out. I would choke myself. And that is not pleasant. So what do we do? But what we're going to do is, we're going to take it off of you again. And here, you can see the metal is somewhat soft, but still strong. So you can like so actually bend it up, but do it gently and with small, you know, small uh, pushes. Because if you do like uh, one strong, you might get a bend in it, and that's not nice to look at. Okay. So what you want is a round and nice curve. Yeah. And by getting that, you'll bend it slowly and just slowly in different places. Yeah. And, okay. and use my other hand as a resist. Okay. You can also use like your leg or a table or piece of wood or you know whatever is hard enough. And yeah. if you're not strong enough, go look for the nearest barbarian. He might do the job for you. So we we'll see what we're gonna try here. Let's lift this up a little, a bit, in both sides, and then we're gonna try it on him again and see how it fits. Right, right now it got a little lower on him, but these also kind of just skyrocketed into there. It's like a jump. So we want to bend these down again, but further up than they were before. And uh, again. You can use a piece of wood or something, or adjust your hands if you're strong enough. And then you just figure out where the bend is to make it comfortable for you. And I kind of just did. Again. So, and this is one millimeter mild steel. Yes. With uh, curved edges to yep. make it more stiff. Yeah. yeah. Let's try again. See. Now we have a nice fit that follows his shoulders around. And it's going to lay nice with him. It's not going to choke him out. And he's still able to use it. It might be a little wide in the sides, but that's no problem either. Gonna take it off again. Because you can stretch and push the sides to make it. But be careful not to do it too extreme, because if you do it too extreme, this one might um, disform. Yes. Yeah. So, but 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 it is actually made in a way where it should fold down fold, a yeah. bit or fold up, you, depending you, you, on how much yeah. you fold the metal. But you just have to do it carefully, because if you just do it like. Poof, then you have no control about what you're doing. So don't go boof. No, no. <laughs> but right now, we have a press plate that more or less fits them. So on here. Fits yeah. nicely. Nice around the waist. So yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to try the back plate. But uh, let's take the press plate off first again. Wow, it felt nice though. Yeah. It's good arm. So let's see how this fits around your shoulders and all that. Around your waist. Not too shabby, a little wide in the lower part. Um, the shoulder kind of goes around pretty nicely on this one, but I kind of want to bend them up a bit. So I think I want to ask Fabian, yeah. is do you want the front part to go on top of yes. the okay, front on the back part on top? So okay, the also plate. on the sides. On, so on, also okay, on the so sides. So the back plate always goes inside, and the front, the breast plate goes yeah. outside. Yes, that's, okay. that has the best frontal look. And see it like this: if you had the back plate on top, then you actually get a slit that people can stack you in. Okay. So, but again. Take, bend carefully. Careful not to, you know, overdo it. And then at the top a bit in again. And let's try it on. And it follows way nicer and sits very neatly on him now. 
gonna squeeze it in the bottom. There we are. And it's good to go. So this is more or less how you do it. Now we can try and strap it on into it and uh, see how it looks and how it feels. And if you... Should I turn around? Uh, yeah, maybe just like this. And I'm just gonna... That's why you always had a squire yep. back in the days. Because it was a hell to get this shit on by yourself. Yeah. To get this beep on by yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional. Yes. <laughs> I always go with strapping the shoulders in first and usually, you know, pull it over my head because then if I'm lucky I might be able to pull it on by myself. So, what to do if you are a bit choppy around, you know, the waist? Oh yeah, How if you're like a man. A man! <laughs> How will you get the armor or the backplate to fit you if that is, you know, a bit wider down there? Well, you stretch it. Okay. And would you say if you can't stretch it, you need to find another model? Uh, maybe a bigger size. A bigger size? Yeah. Okay. Because you can always squeeze them together. And a bigger size is not necessarily longer. No, but it also, it's, you know, it's wider. wider yeah. Okay, yeah. So it has a bigger circumference. Um. Yeah, so tell me, what are you doing now while you are... Right now I'm strapping it on you to see how it fits, yeah. and I want you to jump around a bit. Okay, Kay. so... so um, and a good idea, when you buy a new armor, don't test it on the day you're LARPing. <laughs> Try to put it on and run around in some days before so you get a feel about it. Figure out, okay, maybe this will hurt me if I have it on for 10 hours or something. Yeah. You know, try it out before you go to the LARP. That is highly recommendable. Wow, that felt comfortable. Just pulling it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, I guess that you wanted me to jump around. Yeah, you jump know, around. Yeah. Flip your arms around and see what happens. You know, it's try it I out. I think there's a pretty good maneuverability in this yeah. one, but I mean, the maneuverability is very depending on the design. Yeah. And this one is pretty broad on the yeah. breast, so you can't really expect yeah, to, to put your up. arms yeah. closer together than this. But you're well protected. Yes. And and like for example, the Merc armor, yeah. it has a, uh, a, a slimmer, it's more narrow. Yeah. Yeah. So. With that, you'll be able, and it's a matter of taste. It's yeah, a matter yeah. of how you. It's what you're going for because if you go with a tower shield and a big shield, then you don't need to hug yourself. Then you just like yeah. four, four, four. Yeah. So. And if you want to be like a you know a scout or you know, go. then yeah. you might go with something yeah. lighter and more narrow. So. Okay, guys and girls, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this gives you an explanation on how to fit the armor on basic steps. Yeah. Um, and if you have any questions, write us on Facebook or send us a message on yep. info at epicarmory.com. Sounds like a plan. Fabian out. <laughs>